guys learning with rich here in this video let's continue our discussion about the preparation for the Revit structural design okay now in this topic we are going to talk about purge and transfer project standards okay so in this exercise okay using this one this file so we are going to um, learn how to purge our model to fully purge the model to remove any unwanted objects and then we are going to learn how to transfer view templates from another uh, project to our current project which is um, this one okay so that is what we are going to do in this quick video so towards the end of a Revit project so it is useful to purge the model of any unused families styles and materials so this helps to reduce the file size and reduce the complexity in the project browser so for this one as you can see if I'm going to save as this so let me just select save as okay and then let me check the file size here so the file size here currently is 15 MB or 15,428 KB. So let's see what will happen about the size once we purge this. Okay, so as you can see, this is our 3D model. So to purge our model, so let's go to the uh, Manage tab and then let's use Purge Unused. Or you can also type PU if you want to create a shortcut. You can go to the keyboard shortcut. You can type there KS. And then just look for the purge and then you can create shortcut like this one. So KS for keyboard shortcuts. And then you can look for purge. This one. And if you want, you can click that. And then you can press new key for this one. Like you can type PU and then just assign it. Okay. So that you have a shortcut for the purge. Just like the shortcut in AutoCAD if I'm not mistaken. Now. Let us purge our model here. So I'm going to select the purge. Okay, in our purge and use dialog box. So you will notice that everything is already checked here. Okay, so as you can see here at the bottom, it says number of items checked. So what we are going to do is let us just accept this one. So I'm just going to select here. Okay, so I'm just going to select okay to purge it. Okay, and then if you're going back again to purge and use tool, so as you can see, we still have some items that needs to be purged. So I'm just going to select OK again. Okay, until you see, okay, so there are still items. So just keep on selecting purge until you see here zero. As you can see, no more elements in this or no more um, and use elements here so it's already purged so I'm just going to select OK now I'm just going to save as this one so let's see what will happen on the file size so I'm going to save as project and then I'm going to put here standards uh, let me put here purged oops okay purged just going to change the option the maximum file size of one and then okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going back again to that folder so file uh, save as project and let's see what happens so as you can see okay so this is our purge one and then this is the original one so I'm going to hover or I'm going to move so as you can see this is now the size of our purge model and then that's the original one Okay, so it is always recommended that a copy of the project is saved prior to performing purge as you may need to work with some of the styles and system families that were previously purged. So in the next part of the exercise, after learning how to purge, so we are going to transfer the view templates from another model into our purge Revit model. Okay, so next we're going to use transfer project standards to copy view templates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another project here. Open project. And then I'm going to open this one. So let's say this is where I want to copy some 
elements or settings in this project. So I'm going to select that project and then I select here OK. OK, so after I open this project, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my purge Revit model. OK, so this is the newly open project, but I'm going to switch back to my purge Revit model. OK, and then this time around, I'm going to select again the manage. And this time from the settings panel, I'm going to select transfer project standards. So it copies selected project settings from another open project to the current project. Okay, so that's the reason why we open another project because that is where we are going to copy project settings to our current project. Okay, so I'm going to select transfer project standards. Okay, and then as you can see, we are now going to copy project settings from our uh, project from the project that we have opened a while ago, which is the which is this one. Okay, and then we are not going to transfer all of this. So I'm going to select your check none, but I want to transfer the templates from my current project here. So I want to copy the view templates in this project. So before I do that, let me just quickly show you the current view template of my purge model. So from the view, I select here the view template. I select manage view templates. So as you can see, these are the templates that I currently have. Now let's say, for example, I want to copy the templates, the view templates from the other project. So we will expect that sets of view templates will be added here okay so i'm just going to cancel this now go back to my uh, manage so i select transfer project standards and then i'm going to select your check none so what i want to copy is the view templates so view templates and then after that i'm going to select here okay okay so if you are prompted that duplicate types are present, then ensure that you select new only, okay? New only, otherwise the existing types will be overridden, okay? So I'm just going to select new only, okay? New only, and there you go. So the next thing that we are going to do, we are now going to check that the new view templates has been successfully copied to our purge model. So to do that, Let's go back again to our view tab, view templates, and then manage view templates. So let's see. And there you go. So as you can see, I now have these view templates 1 to 10 added to our purge model. So basically, that's how you use the purge, and that's how you use the transfer project standards. So these are the topics that you will be encountering during the examination. All right, so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.